Hello, I'm back with another Home Depot seeds review. This time for an LG 29 cubic foot standard depth French door refrigerator. Uh, comes with the convert drawer and in door ice maker. Just got it delivered and installed. You can see the top still uneven. I'll go through some setup things to get that all straightened away and then a basic review of everything about it. First setup thing when they install Basically all it means is they plug it in and then they connect your water on the back. So that setup won't be shown, but a very easy setup if you want to install on your own if that's not included. A couple quick features has the indoor ice maker currently set on water. We just got it plugged in and going uh, less than two hours ago. So no ice yet, uh, very slim design. Uh, the water you've got to run two and a half gallons through and it is now coming out nice and clear and we'll show that later. Very slim ice maker up on top, pops open. Um, newer models, some of the older models had the filter back in the corner. This newer model, the filter is actually underneath. It did not come installed. Kind of pop this out and then your filter just twists in and you twist until at this arrow you see the notch pop into it so you got to twist it pretty hard and and then the notch will show up uh, basic kind of setup only got a couple things in there like i said it just got delivered the controls are on the inside which is nice a little harder for kids to get to there goes the door warning the controls that are out here are basically just to set it to ice or water Otherwise, everything is inside to switch that full convert drawer, chilled wine, cold drink, deli snacks, meat and seafood, and you can see the temperatures there. Or you can turn it to freezer. And then the temperature settings and adjustment you can do all through the app. It is Wi-Fi enabled and part of the uh, ThingQ line, so I'll show that later in the review as well. The air filter is back in the back, very easy to get to. I'm going to shut this so it doesn't start beeping again. There we go. Uh, those sensors on the door and then they just have to be closed and this air filter like I said very easy open close you just grab and twist and it pops right off there's that filter and then twist back on very easy uh, here's the actual model LF 29 S 8330 S and I'll show it a little later with stuff in it. Here's that convert door. Uh, one of the first things I will say review wise, um, it has this really nice big convert door. Four different places I can put a divider and they give you one. I would have much preferred to have at least two, but really LG could go ahead and provide one for each slot. And as a owner, you could just take out the ones you don't need um, instead of having to try to find them and order extra and pay probably too much to get them. Um, Here's the freezer on the bottom. It does come with a second ice maker. A uh, family of five here, so we definitely will be using that second ice maker. Um, otherwise, the control is in the door uh, inside, or you can turn off or turn on the ice. No ice or anything yet. It's only been on for, like I said, an, an hour or two. Um, still have the protective coating on the outside, and I'll go through some of the setup with getting it leveled and then getting those doors leveled so everything looks nice. Okay, so I'm gonna level the refrigerator, just the whole base from the bottom. Um, you can see right now I've kinda just got two levels on it. Um, this is a concrete level. It is tilted back just slightly already. You can see towards the front. Um, if I lift up, so the zero on this type of level is actually right there. So it's just barely going backwards, not even quite one degree. That is what you want so that your doors will close nicely. Um, I'm actually gonna probably increase that a little bit so the doors will close better. Um, and then side to side it is off uh, a decent amount. And so my left side, I'm gonna go up like that. My right side, if I, you can see it is not centered. So I wanna adjust that. So to do that, um, here's actually the manual, pretty big. I highlighted mine just so I know which one I have if I ever need to look it up. And if we switch into it, leveling the door, uh, basically turn the legs on the right and the left, using a wrench, 
They do provide a wrench comes with it that is meant for adjusting the doors. So that'll go into there later on. Um, but it also will adjust, let me grab a flashlight. It will adjust the feet. And I've already kind of started this one. If we can get a good angle, you can see that black foot over on the side. Oop, there we go. Good camera work there, huh? So we've got a leg underneath there. I can get that to focus. There we go. Uh, that's already partially lowered. And if we slide over to this other side, you can see that one is much further off the ground. I haven't started on that one. And I will get both of those. The wrench, and it's gonna be kinda hard to get this to flow. The wrench back up. Might be able to get an angle. There we go. Actually slides under and it fits just perfect right on the top right there. Uh, this is sticking out to the right of my fridge. And if I hook that on there and turn towards the front, that is what's actually lowering it. Now once you get it started, I actually just use my hand to twist this to get it close. And then now that I'm at the floor, I'm gonna have to start wrenching that down. You just do that on both sides until it gets a uh, level on the top and at the height you want it for the front to back. Okay, so I got my leveling done, uh, lifting those feet. You can see my front to back, it's a little over one degree. And then up on top, much, much more level than it was. Um, the other thing that I went ahead and took care of, and I'll just kind of show you the level for the doors. Uh, it's not quite perfect, but on this side, you can see that little nut. It's all the way down. And then on this side, you can see there's uh, quite a few screw threads. So I just had to raise that side quite a bit to get this all the way up to where I wanted it so that it would work. Um, another note, when this was delivered, the right side door was removed, which this part pops off. There's some screws on top several holes pops off and then there's a little hinge here and once that's off you just pop this straight out well when they put this back on this was sitting way too high i had a, a really big gap in here and it wasn't seating all the all the way down and i had to really finagle it and move it and twist it and push down and eventually it finally popped right in the other side absolutely no issues it worked right away but in my previous videos you probably saw there was a really big difference and that actually mostly came from that corner just not being seated all the way properly so if that happens to you if yours has to be taken the doors have to be taken off to for it to be delivered or anything like that you just got to make sure those get down all the way the other thing i did want to point out yeah some of you may notice there's like fingerprints and it's supposed to be the um fingerprint proof or resistant this still has the protective plastic while i'm adjusting things so that is showing the fingerprints goes all the way across and up and around so that's why that is there so now that the fridge is all set up with the basic start i'll show you the ice maker you tap that on the front sometimes you kind of have to hit it just right three options there's our crushed ice Takes a second. And just kind of breaks it up into smaller chunks. Does a, a decent job, but definitely not the nice like sonic ice or anything like that. And if we switch over to the normal cubes, just full size square cubes. Very similar to what you get out of the bottom freezer. So you do have the two ice bays um, with a larger family. That's definitely very useful. And if we switch over to water. It goes through the filter 
You do see the air bubbles floating around from just the line, but then once that kind of all clears, uh, it does filter it. very. All right, just the last couple things to show you. We ended up deciding we wanted to have some bins, just got some plastic bins uh, from a local store to organize. There is kind of a weird gap over on the side by the ice bin, but that actually worked great to just put some of our ice, um, our cooler, and then I mentioned earlier in the video that they only come with one divider. Well, we actually bought three tubs uh, and that gave us some nice separation, way more organization. And then in the back, there's a little space to, to keep, you know, things that you don't necessarily need to use all the time or want certain people to get. Inside, uh, I've got a little update. Mine now shows that it is connected to Wi-Fi and the smart grid. And I'll show the Thank You app. And to set that up, if you have the Thank You app, you just get that QR code right next to your serial number and such. And you can get that linked if you are on the same Wi-Fi. And then you can control all the temperature and um, how the ice is made. You can tr control the brightness of the lights, lots of things. And I will show you that in just a minute. And here I am with the LG Thank You app. Uh, mine's already set up. I set up my refrigerator. We'll also show you just the basics. If you hit the plus button, you can add products or add a room. You can also create some smart routines, which can be helpful. Hit the add products and you've got a nice little QR code scanner. So you can go find that code like I showed you on my refrigerator. You can also add it manly, manually if that is not working for some reason. My refrigerator is already in. And if I choose it, you can see you've got your temperatures that you can click on and change. Refrigerator can go up to 43, can go down to 33. The convertible, you can only choose from the preset options. So you can pick whichever one of those you'd like. Then the freezer goes all the way up to five and down to negative seven and it starts at zero. Uh, Ice Plus can be activated from in the app, which is a great feature. Let's you know if the ice maker is not working, which is also helpful. There aren't re really any options as far as those go, but it does at least show you if it's working. The Smart Care Plus has uh, the ability to analyze when you are making ice and it will automatically turn it on to make some more. And that happened for us uh, earlier today. It also has the Smart Fresh where it cycles the air through and keeps your air fresh. And then you can also set up the some of the economy of how it's running and see how that is working out. So that Smart Care Plus should, in theory, keep your ice and air fresher in there and hopefully help with the energy consumption. Uh, the Adjust Nighttime Brightness is, is turned on for us. It changes how bright it is when you open the door. So if you open it at night when it's a little darker, it doesn't blind you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can turn on the Sabbath or Shabbat uh, mode, which will make it so that light won't turn on and the refrigerator settings are already set up. So that's uh, helpful if that is something that you observe. And then there are a couple other features. The filter management lets you know how your filters are doing, monitors your energy usage. You can see how many times you're getting into it each day. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is just adding it to a room. You can see my mm -hmm. um, nickname is just as refrigerator and then the location is currently unassigned. And I can go in and hit add a room, cycle through all the different options, and I would like mine to be in the kitchen and save. And if I add more LG devices, I can kind of run different things on the different rooms using the different smart features. So that is the app for the LG refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Well, to close the review, I just wanted to say we've had the refrigerator for about two weeks now and are very happy with it. You can see even after that time, we still have not really filled up the fridge just because it is so big. We're very happy with the size, all the space that it has. 
especially with the uh, convenient drawer. We did add one other little feature that some people may be interested in. Just a silicone mat help hold cans and the freezer still, it's, it's very spacious. So there's actually a lot more room in there than we expected compared to our old freezer. Uh, we do still have the protective coating uh, saw earlier in the video, even though we're a couple weeks in, it keeps fingerprints away pretty well. So we'll just leave that on there until we start to notice it more just to protect the fridge for longer. The water and ice look, work great. We don't ever run out of ice. And I did want to point out earlier, I was having trouble clicking. My wife uh, pointed out to me, the select button is actually what you hit. So just wanted to point that out for anyone who uses it. And overall, we're very happy these first couple weeks. If there are any issues in the future, I tend to do all of our repairs and I'll, I'll put repairs or anything that happens in the future on this channel. So you can look for those if that ever happens, but we don't anticipate that. We are very happy with this fridge and feel like it is going to be great for us.